Well, here we are, 7 at 7, uh, 7 in the morning, 7 p.m., and sometimes in between, you can actually catch uh, me, I'm Walter Hallam, on 7 at 7, Monday through Friday. And what a joy to be with you today. It's always a great honor, in my opinion, for us to be able to sit down and talk together. I consider it one of the highlights, of course, of my life, to be able to share a good word with many people that I don't even get to meet in this life. But you know, I believe that I'm going to get to see you in heaven one day, even if I don't see you in this life. So uh, let's, let's do what we do every day. Let's begin to like this and share it out. Uh, go ahead, just take some time there and just kind of give me the thumbs up, you know, and let me know where you're listening from today. And I believe today something that I'm about to give you right from the Word of God, from the Bible, and from personal experience. I believe it's going to be a help for you. And if I can portray it to you correctly, I believe you can then share it with someone else and you can be a help to them too. Wouldn't that be uh, what you feel like God would have us do? Uh, we just help one another and then be a help to someone. So today's a good day. All right, let's get right into this. You know, in the Bible, in the book of Romans, chapter 12 and verse 11, there's a beautiful scripture there that says that we should never uh, uh, lag in zeal, but we should be fervent in spirit. Never lag, one translation says, in business, but be fervent in spirit. Well, it's amazing that that is in the Bible. That scripture is there, Romans 12, 11. Now, I want to talk to you about uh, being fervent in spirit, which I think is a powerful word. Uh, the word uh, fervent right there is the word zeo, the original language in Greek. It's the word zeo, and that's the word we get the word fire from. It means to be hot and burning with zeal for what you have put your hand to. The Bible says, be that way in your spirit. Never be just a little bit interested in something that's important. That's very important to know that. Uh, always major on the majors in your life and eliminate more of the minors that you possibly can so you can keep your focus. And when you begin to study the word enthusiasm or enthusiastic, it actually is a Greek word. It's the Greek word entheo, E-N-T-H-E-O, -E entheo. And the word entheo that we get our English word enthusiasm from is a word that means God within. Uh, the word in, E-N, means inside or in. And the word theo, of course, is the word for God, like the word theology or theologian or something like that. And so when you put the two of them together in theo, it means God within. And over the centuries, our word enthusiasm or enthusiastic just comes from that particular word, or the English word does. So I think that's powerful that uh, when we have the, the zeal of God and we have the enthusiasm of God, it's like the character of God in a good, positive way on the inside. Uh, there are some powerful traits about enthusiasm. And I believe a couple of these things uh, are very good for ever. Uh, one of us, every single one of us. Now listen, enthusiasm can change any mood. Uh, you know, you may have a negative mood, but you can make a decision to have an enthusiastic spirit. Now listen, if you want to be enthusiastic about something, then act enthusiastic. If you want enthusiasm in your life, act enthusiastic, act happy, act motivated about that. And what you do by faith uh, will soon become the very order of the day for you. You will begin to develop that character trait in your life. It's not just a DNA thing that you're born with. Uh, two people can face the same thing. And it can be a negative thing, but one person can have an enthusiasm for overcoming that. And I believe that's you today. That's because you make a quality decision to be enthusiastic about the effort. Listen, the key to success in life is to never lose your enthusiasm. Now listen to this. Never lose your enthusiasm for trying again over and over until you succeed. If you can maintain that in your life, I promise you, you're going to succeed ultimately at whatever you put your hand to. It's going to be powerful. Enthusiastic people uh, uh, understand what I'm about to say. When enthusiasm increases in your life, success increases. 
But when enthusiasm begins to decline in your life, stress and anxiety begins to increase in your life. Think about that with me for a few minutes if you will. Remember, it's God who talks about being stirred in your spirit and never lagging in zeal, but be fervent on fire in your spirit for whatever you're going to do. You know, the Bible says that today is the day the Lord has made. So when you get up in the morning, it is a quality decision to say, today I'm going to have an enthusiasm in my inner man. I am going to act enthusiastic. Even though you don't have any reason you think in the natural to be that way, go ahead and tell yourself how you're going to be. Don't let the mood of the moment uh, take your whole day and go wrong with it. Set the tone yourself. Look for something good, say something good, and make a decision that you're not going to let the zeal or the fire or the fervency in your spirit, uh, you're not going to let that go out. You're not going to let it decline. Stay motivated. You can do it yourself. You know, the Bible says in, a, in one of the most powerful passages in the Scripture that David encouraged himself in the Lord. King David, uh, the great warrior, going through a difficult moment, depression's trying to seek in, and then he backed off and took a, a look at that. He said, wait a minute, I'm going to encourage myself, and I'll do it in the Lord. That enthusiasm began to rise, and he gained back everything that he had lost within 72 hours. I hope this has helped you today. Let me pray with you. Father, in Jesus' name, let that fervency in our spirit burn brightly. Not just a foolish giddiness of some kind, but Lord, a true internal zeal. God, that we can stir up just like we would stoke the fire. Lord, let us stir our inner man up to be a success and to be a right on Christian all day long. In Jesus' name, Amen. I hope it helped you today. Please go, if you would please, uh, to my YouTube channel, Walter Hallam. Subscribe to it. Let me know where you're watching from today, and I cannot wait to see you on the next 7 at 7.